OK, food producers, it's your time to shine. The shop is now open. Let's get selling. Come on, we need to do some selling. Hard to try. <laughs> to grow a new food business, testing your product out on a new market is essential. This is an opportunity for them to do just that. Feel free, free try. try. We've got crunchy peanut butter with us today. So this is apple and chili jelly. Artisan expert Alison and entrepreneur Nisha's judging criteria include how each product is marketed, how viable the new business is, and the quality of the product. This is my Filipino papaya pickle. So it's all homegrown in our two-acre yeah. garden. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yum. Yummy. Also important are sales. So the locals act as the third judge. Thank you. Do you, do you taste everything? We do it, yeah. Everything apart from the peanut butter, I'm afraid. So. You're not a fan, not of, peanut fan of peanut butter? Well, if you're not a fan of it, why would you even exactly. taste it? Well, I understand yeah. that. Yum, yum. Yeah. Is it nice? I think the jury's still out. <laughs> <laughs> it's my dad's own variety of runner beans, so it's very special to us. I love runner beans. There's something so nostalgic about it for me. To see it done as a chutney, I think it's great. A lot of people will never have seen that, but we've got a lot of chutneys. So this will be quite an interesting one. That's right. a cracking runner <laughs> bean, let's yeah. be honest. Pam and Emily's giant veg is attracting early attention. As you see, it's quite a long one. Wow. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yay! You sold the job. A bit nervous that people don't like what you're, you're selling. And, yeah. and then they come and taste. Really no nice one's pulled a face on. anyway, have they? No, no nobody at all. Pam and Emily have a good margin on their chutney. Ingredients cost 65 pence a jar, for which they charge £3.50. But it's the lowest priced product today, so they need to sell in volume. At home in Herefordshire, their whole family help produce it. Yes! Crack open! Our runner bean chutney is legendary in this area, isn't it? Well, I should flip him well, I hope so. <laughs> it is literally from our garden to jar. Pam and Emily sell locally and online, but want to build up their fledgling business. We're not making <laughs> money, are we? But not really, no. But we haven't had to borrow money. No, which we're very proud of. Very proud of. To judge how they make their chutney and talk business, Alison visited them at their home a few days ago. Pleased to meet you. Very pleased, pleased to, meet, to you. meet you. Starting with their unique variety of beans. Well. <laughs> they're long, they're wide, and they're fresh. They are absolutely delicious. I wouldn't use them if they didn't taste nice. I bet you wouldn't. <laughs>